we're back with more Heavy Rain. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, here with the Niskull. Hi, Madison. You doing okay? So, all right. Everybody in the audience, raise your hand if you like techno trance music. Okay? Everybody raise their hands? Okay. To those of you who are not raising your hands, I'm so sorry. Come back next week for a different episode. Is that the entire runtime? Because we're, we've got two stories here, and they all take place in this fucking club. Blue Lagoon. And I tell you, I would never want to be in this shitty fucking club, I'll tell you that much. Ugh. Ugh. This music's so crap, and it's even worse because it's copyrighted and- Oh, geez, keep talking, keep talking! Oh, sorry, uh, th- th- this is this is my favorite dance club on the Citadel. Uh, here, let me shepherd dance. Uh, 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 watch me go. Whoa, 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 watch me move my pathetic model. Yeah! So I've been to night- I've been to nightclubs before. I've been to clubs, and none of them have been this shit. There's nowhere to sit. There's no, like, bar. Like, like no, no, no booths or anything. Everyone's just kind of, you know, just dancing around chaotically out in the fuck. Like, I'm sure there's a fire hazard here somewhere as well. It's just, well, yeah, I bet you can tell. I mean, there's a couple seats, like, in the background, but mainly they just have this dance floor here. No well, here's seats, but unfortunately it's a fucking VIP section. So well, apparently I gotta, I gotta be the, the I gotta be the top one percent if I want to sit down. Really All right, well, if if we're gonna do this, let's at least uh, get a taco. That's Paco there. Oh, sorry, I'm Lysdexic. What were we doing? I'm looking for Paco Mendez. You know where he is? How did you know his last name? He's at his table over there. Does he know you? Yeah, hi Paco. You kind of look like Paul Giamatti a little. That's not possible. <laughs> Mr. Mendez is like Amazing Spider-Man Two, Paul Giamatti. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. okay. So, problem. We what, can't get to is, Paco uh... because he doesn't want to talk to us. So, we got to find a way to make him want to talk to us. This cutaway always gives us a good hint. So, what do we got? Okay. Well, what, do, what do we need to do? He's, he's talking, talking to, to his people. Fellow. Oh. Oh, he likes the dancing girls. He likes the pretty lady. He likes the lady. Okay, so that's a big tell. It's a good thing we're playing as Madison. Oh, yeah. Because I think I it'd mean... be really funny if we had Ethan Mars do this. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Dial Tone. Go, Dial Tone. Woo! I can a right now. <laughs> He's up there raising his nine fingers. It's just like, hey, Paul Giamatti, you want some of this? <laughs> I'm doing it for my son! Yeah! I feel like that we missed an opportunity with uh, not casting Ethan Mars as the guy who voiced uh, the Maybe dad I from Finding Nemo. Because <laughs> I think it would just be great to just to have Ethan Mars for a chapter go around and say, HAVE YOU SEEN MY SON?! <laughs> <laughs> His name's Sean, I'm looking for my son, have you seen him?! And then he befriends Ellen DeGeneres, and then they go off in, in a lovely adventure. And Madison just <laughs> cut, just says, "Cut to just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming." <laughs> she basically cause, does. Cause she get it? Cause he, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got on this uh, little stand here. We're gonna dance just. Oh, we're gonna dance just the same God. way she did. But oh fuck, I can't. <laughs> Oh, got two left feet. See, I'm not a guy who uh, t- cares that much about heels. I really don't think that you have to wear them. To, like, you can wear tennis shoes, ladies. It's okay. In fact, I, I would I would prefer if you wear them because they seem more comfortable. They don't ooh, fuck up ooh, your feet ooh. over time. You know, Ow. that's... Man, I could, I could feel my ankle cracking with that little stumble mm. there. It's like, what? Like, oh, God. Just t- t- take them off at least. Come on. I mean, you might actually get his attention if you take your shoes off and continue to dance. Yeah, really. I mean, at least you'll be able to move more fluently and you won't look as awkward. How about if I just get a few drinks, take out my shoe, throw it at him and go, Hey, Paco! Look at my tits, big boy! That'll get him to notice me. <laughs> you slowly pour ice water all over all over your face and be like, Mmm, look at that! That's from dancing for so long. But no, this is a David Cage game, which means we have to adhere... To David Cage's fantasies. Okay. As much as it I disgusts mean, me to have those words slime out of my mouth. 
David Cage, let, let me give you a little hint. Games like this where you have rendered models, that they tend to be, you know, hacked and redone. I mean, just take a note from Overwatch's book. Characters that are popular, they get fucked. They get fucked a lot, and if you really wanted to see your female character here do this, one, you should have made her likable, and two, just go, go to Google. So this isn't working. Well, shit, uh, undo another button, uh, take off one shoe, uh, pretend to be doing a bong, uh... Hey, Paco! Fuck me, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that could work. I don't know, maybe, maybe he's into the forceful types. <laughs> Actually, throw your shoe at him and go, Oops, sorry, I was trying to hit the skank next to you, I'm better than her. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Woohoo, oh yeah. Hell yeah, baby, let's go. Did I tell you my club story, by the way? What's that? Been to one club in my life so far. It was a foam party, it's really weird. They drop soapy water from the ceiling, and then you get all wet, and then you grind on each other and all that shit. <laughs> but uh, probably one of the funniest things is I was with uh, two guys and one of the guy's girlfriends. Girlfriend gets up on stage, starts sexy dancing or whatever. Does, does that for a little while, and there's another guy just coming out of the crowd with, like, dollar bills up to, like, a 20 in his hand, trying to hand it to her. So, the boyfriend comes over and, essentially, as you would expect, says, fuck off, she's with me. And, drunkenly, he goes, no, man, it's okay, it's fine. And just tries to do it again. <laughs> to, to which, to which the boyfriend... Uh, very rightfully goes, fuck off. She's mine. She's mine. I mean, I know that shouldn't say that, but basically that's what he had to say. And it's, the guy it's, was like, it's sticking up for your lady. It's a very manly thing to do. Yeah, and he he just goes, would you stop it? She's dancing. I want her to get naked. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy, you know, does the collar grab, and that's when I was like, okay. So I run up and I break them up, and I was like. Don't worry, I got this. And I went over to the other guy and said, Go the fuck away, or you're gonna get your ass kicked. And so he did. Uh, Niskel the Peacekeeper. I just let it I just let it happen and watch and laugh. I mean, I should have. It would have been really funny. But that night I had to break up like three fights. So I was, <laughs> I was kind of a master at that at that point. So, getting back to the game. Paco won't notice this because we're not sexy enough, so we're gonna give you some beauty tips. How to be sexy. To play the sexy girl. <laughs> we're gonna play a sexy girl. So, so, la ladies and, you know, even guys at home, I'm gonna teach you all how to be sexy. Follow along with me. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. <laughs> Step one. Take your hair and just kind of, you know, Mess it up. T tussle mess it up. up. Just, yeah, girl. Just get it all messed Woo! up. Mess it up. Yeah, there you go. That's, just that's like you I got out do. of bed in a four-dude orgy. Yeah. All, all those conditioners and those perms and those hairsprays, <laughs> fuck it. Just, just, <laughs> just <laughs> like it. Don't even give a fuck. Shirt, yeah. It shouldn't yep, be. Told yeah. you. <laughs> One extra button, that's all it takes. The V, Woo! like the V needs to be like between your nips. That's that's where the, the crease needs to be. <laughs> and your skirt, just tear that oh, shit. Who cares if it's a gift it. from grandma? Who cares if you paid 25, <laughs> 60 bucks for it? Just tear that shit off. Nobody wants to see any, like, they want to see your knees, bitch. Knees are sexy, <laughs> apparently. You gotta show off the knees. No one's gonna look at you if you ain't got knees to show. And, of course, we gotta uh, put yep. on the makeup. Get, mm -hmm. Apparently, makeup is is you know just absolutely crucial. <laughs> I thought you jabbed yourself in the eye. <laughs> I'm trying to jab myself in the eye, but no, we gotta just oh, careful, careful. Uh, careful. I swear, this is a oh scene from God. Dead Rising Two or uh, Dead Space Two. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. It might also be from a Final Destination. Good God. <laughs> Someone just bumps ah, Oops. There we go. Ah, God, I was trying to become sexy and you poked my eyeball out. Okay, got it. So, mascara is applied. But you think you're done? No, you're not done. You're not sexy oh, yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. We need more. We need more. I, okay, I, I, I'm getting a call saying that that was not mascara, that was eyeliner. 
Okay, well, that shows how much I know about makeup. But this is definitely chapstick. Wait, lipstick, sorry. There we go. Apply it. Yeah, get that dark shade going. Darker the better. Yeah. Got a girl who works with me and puts on purple lipstick. Congratulations. Sticks out like a sore thumb. You look like a whore now. <laughs> but a whore that's got some fucking oh. heat <laughs> with her. I was about to say, a whore that's packing. Yeah. Okay. For the record, Let's... ladies, you don't need to do this. <laughs> You're, you're beautiful enough as it is, and you don't need to go to the bathroom and pretty yourself up just to impress stupid fucking guys. The reason why Madison's doing this is because she's on an investigation, but you don't... You shouldn't have to change yourself to appeal to somebody. They should like you for who they are instantaneously. Now that I've got on my soapbox, let's get onto this dance box and finally show off the sexy dance moves he's been waiting to see. Hey, Paco, look at me. I'm daddy's little slut. Notice wow. me. Boy, do I feel loose today! <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I wore my G-string only! Oh, he's like, ugh, stop. Don't look at me like that. If someone were to not wear a condom, I would not get pregnant! Oh, excuse me, Paul Giamatti, are you at a butcher shop? Because you got a good piece of meat right here! Oh, yeah, I want that ribeye over there. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> That's a good cut of beef right there. Hey, oh. you! Could you ask that girl next to you to come here? <laughs> yeah, exactly! What the f- Madison, you're not 100% skank yet, honey. You need to work on it. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Oh, thank God. I didn't want to have to go, you know, to level two, which was just, you know, start hey, sucking dudes off all over the club. <laughs> level two, she gets on a table oh, table yeah. and starts dancing. <laughs> Oh, check it out. This is my, this is my Spanish impersonation. This is a Mexican drug lord. <laughs> oh, why would you use your real name, Madison? I, I know, that's what I thought. I would, I would uh, call her uh, Milwaukee. <laughs> you know, they're both cities in Wisconsin. Somewhere more private. Yeah. You could, you could at least put a little bit of like, you know, come hither in your voice, because. That just sounded like you're interrogating him. Maybe we can continue this in a place a little more private. I'm not a cop. I know I know you and I can sound much more sexier than that if we're trying to get someone to go up to an office so we can interrogate them. Why don't we continue this in a place that's a little more private, big boy? You fuck. Take me to your office, I'll suck your cock. <laughs> no, that's just too demanding. Oh, I, I, you know, for some reason, I feel that a guy like him would oblige. I have a feeling you have a meat cigar waiting to be um, used. Then he goes, meat cigar? What the fuck is this? What the oh, fuck oh, is oh, 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 right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well. so and then she uses the gun as a lighter. So Madison's realizing that this is a really, really fucking bad idea. I make him talk to the gun. Get out of there before I get into big trouble. I should also mention, you know, ladies, right. gentlemen, don't ever involve yourself with Mexican drug lords! Everything's gonna be alright. <laughs> Think positive. He'll Everything only shoot me once. All right. I'll just get a bolt oh. between the eyes and then it won't even hurt. Welcome to my little oh, wait, I recognize this. Oh, no, I know it's coming. Oh, God! Oh, <laughs> he has no. nightstands that say hard! Oh, Does that? No. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking of getting wall art too. I just want to have in big wooden letters erect on there. You know, yeah. Oh no. God, what's this movie called? Oh, what's the movie called? Slowly. Oh, this happened in a movie. Damn it! It's a Schwarzenegger movie. Oh, what is it? True Lies. Ah, thank you. True Lies. Yeah. Can I have a drink? Except I'd much rather watch True Lies, to drink. be honest. To break the ice? And I haven't even seen the movie, but I feel like I'd rather watch, the, watch that instead. You know? Hey, can I get something to loosen myself thing. up, Mr. Paco? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> can we just Her talk face first? was a little glitchy there. We don't need that anymore. This whole talk. thing is a little glitchy. I'll talk down. Now, show me what you can do. Oh man. I can gotta do this. Leave? Leave? Let's leave. I like I'm leaving. Sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. 
Excuse me. Look, uh, I, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. You didn't have and any end game, Madison. We saw the there it is. You had no end game in mind, I'm did tired you? Bitch. Of wasting my time. No, and that's never. why you always have an escape plan, Madison. Never. Rule number one: always have an escape plan. Well, guess we have to wing it once again. This is David Cage's sick, sick fantasies being played out in video game form. So they're gonna want us to Fuck. dance and act all sexy and all stuff like that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna whiz through this as fast as possible. I'm gonna do the, like as little amount <laughs> of interaction as we can. So lamp. lamp. Her oh thoughts, God, her thoughts God. going around, is, and one of them happens to be lamp. Lamp is a good thing, so we're gonna just go ahead and uh, just, oh, 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 messed up my lamp Justin grab. Because Madison can die in this chapter if we're not careful, you know. Oh, we seriously, just, she'll uh, die here? Yeah, if we're not careful. I mean, he has a gun on us, and he could absolutely shoot us if we do this wrong. So then we'll what just little wiggle dignity. our ass a little bit, and he looks a little uh, forward to smell my farts, and then, uh, hey, how about if uh, you just take this? Bath! Lights out! Ha ha! Whew! That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. My one-liner was better. Shut up, bitch. I thought she was saying that about Paco. You go, girl. Okay, act two. Let's hear Lover Boy sing. Now, if I remember correctly, that scene can go on a bit longer, can't it? Uh-huh. Wake up time. Like, it can get so worse. I don't know how worse it can get, but I just know that it can get worse. Post-text, how worse can it get? Like, I'm going to assume panties only or less. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well... Oh my god, you a cop? If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. You want my house? <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. I don't know. You want my apartment? Uh, I guess I'll um Ugh. slap him. Yeah, there we go. You fucking bitch. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, here's how it works. You haven't got the balls, lady. But you're gonna know balls when I gush up with you. Wait, what? I'm gonna know balls? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, uh. uh, we're a little busy right now. So this is clever. I, I imagine that <laughs> I imagine that these are the noises David Cage makes when he's watching this. In the same octave too. In the same octave. In fact, that was him. <laughs> and that's David Cage's face when he figured out he could do that. So this is a little neat, at least. And yep. Oh yeah. All right. So there's the left nut. Stop it. I'm only getting started. How about some more? And then we'll just gather up the right nut in the same hand. He had money. And then we just add a little bit of a yank name? to that. Mm. Oh, let's see. Take a nice fingernail and just, uh, you know. <laughs> and for good measure, fingernail up the butt. <laughs> Wow, that's a mean foreplay, boss. Madison, you're gonna have to really wash your hands after this. I'm not even kidding. That's about five types of herpes and at least one case of gonorrhea you've got on your hand. Like, I know you did it through the pants and all that, but, you know, I can smell your hand from here, lady. I mean, <laughs> ew. Fucking ew. Now, uh, to quickly exit... How about that? You didn't do too badly, Nap. Uh, okay, 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 so uh, right, uh, he, he, right here, my uh, R2 button's really sticking. I'm trying to get it. Fucking... <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, I was about to say, you really wanted her to have a pep talk here, didn't you? Fucking button. Crap. <laughs> there. I think I got it. Guess I'll soon find out. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm so glad that happened on camera. 
Time to get out of here. Your boss has a little bit of sore I'm balls. He might he needs kids. some Neosporin. Well, that was a pretty good way of getting a guy. Oh, well, I was about to say she something. pounded him so hard he he'll be feeling it for weeks. So uh, how was he, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> he yeah, well, why don't you find out for yourself? I I left him for you. We had the lights on. It was like only two minutes, you know. I didn't even feel anything. I mean, I I didn't know his alternate name was One Pump Chump, but hey, you learn something new every day, huh? I mean, I just I just button I just unbutton my shirt, make a few moaning sounds, and he's gone. I mean, I, I thought Sonic was the fastest thing alive, and then I met Paco. And now uh, we leave to never hear this music again. It's coming up again, isn't it? We are never going back to that stupid club again because our time with Paco is done. Because now we're jumping on to Norman Jaden. We're going to be talking with... Oh. oh, fuck. He's going there, too. Ah, oh, come on! Ah! 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 <laughs> Please tell me he gets naked, too. Like, can he be a slut as well? I wish I would want that so bad. It's like that's the reason Paco is so hesitant on picking uh, p- uh, picking Madison is because he's already been blue balled by Norman Jaden here. <laughs> Norman looks in the mirror and he goes, "Come on, you dirty whore! You can do it! Get out there and show him a good time." Uh, it's the same place. It's like oh, they oh, yeah, yeah. come on. I'm here to see Paco. 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 No Paco here, fella. Oh wait, Come there on. she goes. Hey, yep. it's Madison. Bye, Madison. Are you absolutely certain. Except we got FBI. We don't need a da- we don't need to dance sexy. He's in his office. Oh, shit, the fuzz. We got a card that says there. we don't need to dance sexy. If anything, you're gonna dance sexy for me. It's part of the investigation. <laughs> so lift up that shirt, big boy. Oh, hey, he escaped. No, he's still in his office. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, cool. That's him. Cool. That's him. Oh, That's him. We got the killer right there. He's go right again. there. Fucking cap him! Come on! Go faster, Norman! Excuse me, excuse me. God, is everybody on fucking ecstasy in this place? <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! That's a one way room, he can't get out! Get him! Faster! He's gonna get killed, isn't he? Hello? Son of a bitch! No, 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 Look, I just had my balls I, I crunched. Please out. don't shoot me. No, no, don't ki- uh. Um. Uh. Bang. B- bang. Housekeeping. B- Hi, I heard there was a mess in the room. Can I please come in? I just love that face for some reason. <laughs> It looks so a, 90s Law and Order. It's it's so funny. He's a widow sweepy. And dead man. How did he get out? Yep. He definitely dead. He left the door open, Jaden. Never leave the door open. Always close it. Paul, gee, a bullet in his head. Oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't even notice. So... Let's see what Ari has to say about all this. There's a little bit of a crime scene. And are we missing something? Oh, oh yeah, the guy who's still in the room. Thank you. So we're gonna get this guy. And yes, Norma Jaden can die in this chapter too. Oh well, awesome. We're finally getting somewhere. Nope, you're not going to take go- him down. Not take him down. Close the door. Nope. Oh, the oh, oh, table. Oh, the table. Careful! Oh yeah, right in the throat. Yeah. Oh, watch for the sword. The sword yeah, is what kills you. If I if I fail any of these, he could definitely kill me. So we gotta be careful. Oh she Oh, oh god! Right Whoa. into Paul Giamatti. Uh, <laughs> oh, the punching bag! Oh hell yeah! Oh. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Well, you're really bad at Come this swordplay thing, aren't you? Killer. Woohoo! Almost lost my dick. Oh my god! He almost sliced me in half. Oh! <laughs> Oh, he's got the chair. Oh, oh, it's cold. No. Oh. oh, no. Sopping wet. I'm going to get hypothermia now. Go, 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 go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, stop, stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Damn it. 
You use a shard of glass. Throw it at the back of his head. No! No, you've got to be kidding, Jaden. You're useless. Gets away again. Get up, yes, man! Don't. It's just a little bit of fucking water. <laughs> Come on! Yeah. Throw a fish at him for God's sake! Okay, if I hurry, I can still get him. If I just do what? But it Where did he Where? go? Oh, Jaden, you done fucked it. He Come on! He got away! He, he was Ow. right in front of us. He was right between oh, our fingers! I came to see him. He got away! I'm sorry, I don't speak cop. <laughs> do you speak this? <laughs> Fuck you, asshole! <laughs> Watch my list, asshole, because I got no time to translate. Did Paco know the guy? Yes or no? John. He said his name was John. So John Shepard is Friend definitely the guy who's the origami killer. The up. guy who's been using John Shepard's name is the origami killer. But who is it? Is it his brother? Is it that... That... Hmm, that... Kragen? Not Kragen. That other guy? Kragen's the... <laughs> Kragen's the chief from Law & Order SVU. I Kramer! Like my suggestion. Kramer! Yeah, Kramer. Kramer. I knew it was a TV character. It was Kramer. So is it him, or his son, or who knows? Could be anybody. Or is it definitely Ethan and his stupid fucking, Oh, blackout, oh, my other self is testing me. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and grab Ari. <sighs> see if we can't gather God some clues again. It. Norman, uh, I'm disgusted with you. Mother would not be pleased, Norman. All right, let's look at all this shit. Madison Page. What was the journalist doing here? So what's awesome is that I didn't know this. Madison Page is from Columbus, Ohio. What? She's a homegirl. Oh, sweet. Orchid pheromones. Represent. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, she definitely dances like somebody from Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> Dresses like someone from Columbus. <laughs> Paco yeah, Mendes exactly. was no saint. Yeah. Knows how to slut herself up like someone from yeah. Columbus. Uh, she she came from uh, Upper Arlington. Just off. Yeah. Got, gotcha. Yeah. The killer was looking. That's a really something. rich place, but you know, you know what they think about beauty and all that shit. It's, mm -hmm. it's very, very, yeah. very toxic. Not healthy at all. Man. Yes, yes. Sir. Hmm. Look at his rap sheet. Confident. Oh. Confidence trickster. Whatever the fuck that is. Forty-five. He's calories. just a confident trickster. I do believe. Forty-five. That I can uh. trick you. You can't trick me. Aha! Uh -huh. I just tricked you. No, you didn't. But if I say I did, then I did. A forty-five caliber semi-automatic. I think. I'll just take your word for it. Yeah, I totally saw that gun. Mm-hmm. can totally see where the door is. Oh, I was in the closet all along. <laughs> and that's the gun I just got. Hmm. Anything else around here? His coat pocket. Ooh. I tore it off during the fight. <gasps> Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Uh huh. Hmm. They're all wet now and they're non usable thanks to you running into the fish tank, but other than that. And another gun. But I think that one's mine. Butterfingers. Madison Page. She may be a witness. Hmm. Well, let's not go nuts. But now we got Norman Jaden and Madison Page starting to link together now, too. Right between the eyes. Instant death. Shit. Drugs, 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 drugs! Drugs, drugs, drugs! There's probably some in here. I wonder what this tryptocaine smells like. It smells pretty good. Smells like evidence. I seem to spend most of my time getting the shit kicked out of me. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me, Norman. I mean, you 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 could have died twice already in this playthrough. Like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck. Oh my god! Uh, That's why he was killed. 
Okay, they do have a main stage dancer. Apparently, you're not allowed to go up and dance on the main stage. I mean, this down here, this dance floor is just where all the plebes dance. The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. Yeah, all you get is just these little tiny things here. I said. God, get out of the way. You girls are dressed alike. I see you reusing models again, David Cage, and I don't appreciate it. Well, one of us has to change. I know, we should too. Madison Page is sexy girl look. Let me just tussle my hair, and then I'll, I'll lower my, my, my V-neck a little bit, and then I'll rip my skirt, and then... First you're like this, then this, then this, then that, and this, and that, and this, and that, and then...